live, live, live. We are going live. We are live. Good morning out there. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum, and it's 6 o'clock, or an hour later than normal. Talk about bullying, because we brought up bullying yesterday, because somebody, I guess, did you do a bullying thing in school, Eddie? Um, I don't know. What he was talking about bullying. No bullying, right? Yeah. And one thing I noticed in, in the Agile Scrum world, part of that is also help minimize the bullying of go that goes on in the IT business. And yeah. there's a big trend out there in anti-bullying activities for kids. You know, adults can get bullied too, especially in the IT business. There's a lot of people out there who says, you got to do this. And I was watching a video the other day, somebody out on YouTube talking about certain large companies out there. And, uh, you know, we got to make sure that our leaders, managers are bullies to the, the IT people. And one of the things about a scrum master, your job is to protect everybody from those bullies out there that said, I want this, I want it now. You got to give it to me or I'll take your job, you know, and, 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 and they never say it, but they imply it, right? That if you don't do the feature they want or make it, and if you don't address it now, you're going to get in trouble. Then all these people come down on you. I mean, that is a form of bullying. I, I don't know why they don't see it, but I've seen it in a lot of places where managers are really on top of each other to get stuff done. You know, um, and the idea of the Agile and Scrum is that we wanted to get away from that. We wanted to get just building good quality work, enjoying what we do and um, crafting some uh, things. And, you know, I look at a lot of the industry and there's a lot of bullies out there because he didn't make me think about it yesterday when he brought up the new bullying thing, which was totally out of the blue. But then I saw a couple of videos on YouTube the other day talking about some IT people talking about the industry, you know, and I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of bullies out there. And, you know, the one thing the scrum master does is like, hey, you know, it's a tough job. Right. It ain't an easy job. And there's times when you have to be that person to keep the bullies away from the team. Right. And I feel sorry for a lot of scrum masters who are put in those positions in those organizations that think that they just need to harp on people to get stuff done, um, which is really not the way we want to work. Right. It's just it demoralizes the team, shuts them down. Um, but we really as leaders need to check for that bullying. Are our are, are leaders bu bullying the people working on your staff? Are you a bully or are you a leader? Do you think being a leader is someone who gets everybody to do what you tell them to and that, and they, they just, they just do it and they produce, they're going to produce junk. It's going to be full of bugs. They're not going to care. They're going to turn over another job. And then you got to hire more people. Then your production rates going down because you're training new people and they're not as efficient. They don't know the code. But if you keep getting this turnover rate, you know, it was a, it was a good question the other day. I did an interview with the agile coach and he was talking about happiness um, and doing a happiness grading, right? And one of the happiness grades is, is turnover. Um, he's right. It's a great measure of happiness. How much are people leaving the organization? You know, every, you know, that is a metric that's, a, that a metric that's just, you know, that's fact, right? I don't know if the visas out there will, will prevent that. It's really bad if you got a high turnover rate and everybody's working on a visa. That would be, that would be a sign that your organization is really having some issues, um, especially here in the States. But I mean, if you have a high turnover rate on, on your business, like, you know, people are leaving every six months or something, maybe there's something to it. Maybe, maybe you do have bullies in your organization. Maybe you as a leader need to, you know, take that into account, right? All the teams. So as a leader, you know, you should be concerned over your turnover rate, the happiness factor. I mean, it's a solid number. It's not a survey. And it's, it's not biased in any way it's just straight turnover how many people are leaving your organization how do you compare to the rest of the organization so you know i would advise people from a leadership perspective start measuring your turnover rate it's a great metric so bullying turnover rate it's a great number to look at 
Um, you got to watch for the bullying and forcing people to get stuff coming up with dates that are not achievable. And you tell them, well, you must meet that date. Well, that is a bully, right? You guys said, I need to know how you can, can we make this date, right? It's like, how can we do it? Or is it possible? Or what is a good date? Even, even rather say, well, what do you all think is a good date? As a program manager of 30 years, that's how I asked the question. What I asked them was, when do you think we can get it done? And they gave me a date. That's how I was always on time on all my projects through my career because I had the organization who was doing the work give me a date. Uh, I'll do whatever you want. You tell me what it is, I will meet it. So I had an opposite approach to how I ran my operations as a program manager for 30 years. And I had them tell me the date. I never told my experts what the date was. So anyway. So that's a leadership thing. Look for bullying, look for turnover rate. How are you asking that question? Are you telling them a date to deliver? Or are you asking them for a date to deliver the product? It should be you be asking them a date. You should not tell them a date. Okay, As it, I think I said it was show 71, right? This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Um, that's what I got for today. Uh, happy scrumming. Enjoy your day and uh, thumbs up. <laughs>